everyone. I hope my last wee video of the current session finds you and your loved ones well again. I've written to you every Sunday since the school closed its doors to our pupils and we embarked on this new normal at home learning. I've been doing so in an effort to provide reassurance that we continue to work towards keeping our youngsters safe and we continue to keep them learning whilst in very challenging circumstances. And I continue to take the opportunity to thank members of your staff who have worked tirelessly to provide the online courses, the preparing the new courses for the blended learning approach that was due to start in August, for supporting our pupils, our uh, children of essential key workers, and for those who have been delivering free school meals and providing up to 41,000 meals to those shielding. What a fantastic achievement. And they've been doing that at a time when they've been working from home, facing the same family difficulties and the same family stresses that many families across the land face. It's a fantastic achievement, both by them, but also by you. In most of the letters I've sent you, I've provided details or copies of the advice notes that we've received from both the Scottish Government and the NHS. Guidance which has informed our decision making alongside the work we do with the local authority, our own school staff and our shared experience with other schools and with other head teachers across the land. It's this guidance and this discussion that has led to a recovery plan that was due to be implemented from August. Now on Tuesday, the Deputy First Minister, John Swinney, he gave a speech in Parliament. Uh, he said, now I've got to read this wee bit, if we stay on track, if we continue to do what is right and we can further suppress this terrible virus, the government believes that we should prepare for our children to be able to return to school full time in August. I must stress, he said, this is the aim that the government is now working towards. However, because it has to be achieved, safely, it inevitably remains conditional and dependent upon ongoing scientific and health advice. So, we at Oban High School, Tyree Primary School and Tyree High School, we currently have in place a, a blended model of delivering education to our youngsters. I outlined what the differences in our normal timetable would be last Sunday. And if the Scottish Government confirms that this is still necessary, we'll be ready and we'll implement that. However, it is a priority that we are going to reopen fully come the 12th of August with all our children in and that is the plan that we are writing now. I should note that this is a plan that's almost fully written already. We had already written a timetable prior to school closure and what we'll do is we'll be dusting that down and we'll put in that into operation because that is based on what all our children chose or based on the normal ways of working that the school would have had. However, of course, in the current climate, there are still other considerations to take place. We still have to see what the detail is with regard to health and safety coming from the government and that will be published on the 30th of July. We still have discussions with transport, with catering, with cleaning, Everything that we'd actually normally do every summer anyway. I'd like to wish all our pupils who are embarking on a new chapter in their lives our very best wishes for the future. We would obviously have preferred to say a fond farewell in person and sadly this is not really possible for obvious reasons. As events unfold we'll seek to put on an event after the holiday to give us an opportunity to give appropriate recognition to all our pupils achievements. There will also definitely be a prize given ceremony in whatever manner we can accomplish, ideally in September. If anyone needs any support just now around UCAS, results, careers, etc., please contact your guidance teacher if you're in Oban or Mrs. Cooney if you're in Tyree. So that's support for those on the way out and support on the way in is that the transition classes will continue in Google Classroom. They'll continue throughout the summer. There's still questions to complete if you choose to, there's still tasks to do, there's still videos to watch. In terms of results, all S4, 5 and 6 pupils who are awaiting exam results this year, you should really sign up for the free MySQA service which will keep you updated with all the information that you need getting ready for that big day on the 4th of August. 
you can sign up for text alerts through that service and you get your results by text. Personally, I always prefer to wait for it to pop in the post. To sign up, all you need to do is go to www.mysqa.org. Dead easy, and for those that went through it before, you've probably done it. As the lockdown restrictions begin to ease, I hope you all have the opportunity to have a bit more of the freedom that's been afforded to us and that you're able to have a lovely holiday. Hopefully the sun will stay out. For some of you, you might get away. Whatever it is that you do over the summer, I hope you have a fantastic time. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you all in August safe and well. Thanks very much. See you soon.